something unique. For example, just a couple months ago, I uh, had the opportunity to perform CPR on a child that uh, was drowning in a pool, and I was able to save that child's life. We're going over to assist uh, the fire department. They've got a subject that's being physically aggressive towards them. 7 Charlie 33 arriving. Copy. I'll be out with that subject. What's up, man? Step in front of my car. Hey! Hey, come here! Control 7 Charlie 33, subjects not obeying my commands, walking uh, eastbound on Utah. Copy code red this channel. Subject hey! Not obeying commands, walking eastbound Utah. Hey, my man! Turn around for me! Control 7 Charlie 33, waiting for another unit before I go hands on. Copy. Going on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. Hey, put your hands behind your back. Walking eastbound Utah from Fairfield. Hey, hey, relax. <coughs> relax. Hey, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Police department. Police department! Police department! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Stop resisting! Police officer! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Police officer! Stop resisting! Get on the ground! Don't move! Okay, I got one. I got one. Okay, taser's off. You want to change? You want to do? Is everybody all right? All right. Control seven, Charlie thirty-three, one in custody. Parole supervisor. Lift the channel. That's for me. Just get me a supervisor. Easy there. Yeah, for Easy. Us, ready in for you. Easy. What'd you take? Uh, What'd you take? What'd you take? We need to, uh, Hi guys. Get yes, please. Okay. Relax. Relax. What'd you guys get your initial call for? What'd you guys get initial call on him for? Man down. Man down. He was all around. Hey, relax, man. Relax, okay? It's over. Okay? You got a call for him? I did. I got a clip for there. They're going to have to transport him to the hospital. Yeah. yeah. You know what, is it easier? Would we be better off if we just put him on a stretcher? They're going to have to transport him to the hospital anyway. Yeah, he's okay, way out there in cloud nine. Let's do that. Uh, hey, <laughs> relax, man, relax. I got his one foot. You want a chemical? Uh, well, we're gonna give them to you guys anyway yeah. for transport. Yeah, so you <laughs> Relax, relax. Relax. No, we're gonna get him up on the street. Uh, hey, relax, man, relax, okay? Relax. He's ammed up on something. Yeah, he sure is. The 44 Maryland and Fremont. I need you to go up to North Las Vegas Jail. Let's go closing. They need to like 44 control. Hang on a sec. Let's get the stretcher. He's got probes in his side too. Oh, so watch yourself. What? Are you fighting? You're not gonna go anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Okay. You're caught, man. Give up. He, he wasn't feeling anything. I hit him pretty hard in the yeah, face. He wasn't so. feeling anything. Yeah. I got I got those probes in him. He wasn't even affecting him. Didn't do anything. All right, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I think we should try to get him up. Oh. Right, yeah. Let's get two on the legs. One on the hobble. Can we put him up? Yeah. South six. 
There you go. Better? He was over here rolling around. Thank you, sir. I roll up right here. He gets up and just starts walking. So I'm like, hey, dude, Metro Police, up in front of my car. Doesn't even look at me. Keeps on walking. That's why I call out. He's not obeying my commands. And all of a sudden, he turns around, just ready to fight. He comes right at me. I, I knew he was going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. So I went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I popped him in the face two or three times. Didn't he didn't even feel anything. I grabbed him, threw him to the ground. Uh, we started wrestling around. I gave him some knee strikes. No effect whatsoever. He gets up and rushes me. I'm kind of tiptoeing backwards with him, fighting with him, punching him some more. He clocks me in the face. We both go down to the ground. He actually got up on top of me. And I was still clocking him, trying to get him off me. I don't know who came up. Somebody rushed him and we got him off of me. I went to taser. I tased him. No effect. Um, I tore, tried multiple touch stuns on him, nothing. I think it was like a 15 second ride. And then that, about that time is when uh, somebody else rolled up and uh, we were able to get him into custody. But I mean, he, he wasn't obeying any of my commands. I was throwing stop resistance the whole nine yards. There was like nothing there. The lights were on, but nobody was home. And uh, that went from a simple restraint straight to self-defense and all the way up to almost deadly force real fast. And uh, that could have been a lot worse. So uh, he's going down to the hospital to get checked out since he's uh, got so much drugs in his system. He's facing charges of battery on a police officer and resisting arrest. Possible address is 537. All right, we're heading to a disturbance call. It's involving a dog. The dog has been missing for a year, and the complainant went up to the yard and took the dog out of the yard, and now is sitting in a truck waiting for us to get there. So we'll see what this is all about. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Fantastic. This is all the information I have with me. Um, as you can see here, the, ta the thing on the back of my car, she's been gone since last August. Um, she has a microchip inside of her that's registered to me okay. since um, she was born July 17th. She's six years old. Um, I can't believe I just found her. It hasn't hit me yet. Um, the way we got here was I did searches everywhere. I did mailings to 110,000 homes to bring her home. This is her. The dog looks just like the dog my uncle got. I did, I did ask her to please bring the dog in so we can have it checked. She called him while she was there, pleaded with him. He said, no, his wife has grown attached to it and they have a daughter and they bonded with it and stuff. I finally contacted my attorney last night. He said, if the dog's there, Take the dog, lock yourself in the car, and wait for the cops to show up. Okay. Animal Care Control has a microchip available? Yes. By any chance, do they bring one over? I can check. I will pay them $1,000 bring that microchip over. That's the reward for this dog. If it's her, I will pay the employee the $1,000. I offered to take his wife to a puppy store and buy her any puppy she wanted. All she had to do was bring the dog in to be checked. I said, if it's not her, I will turn around and walk away. If it is her, I'm taking my dog. Do you remember her, her eye looking like that? No. That's, she's. She was six, but. but her, her, le her toes curve. Okay. I'm gonna just get out of the car and smoke a cigarette. Okay. Thank you, can you take She came to the house, knocked on the door. A little girl answered the door. She said, that's my dog, grabs the dog, and they're like, where are you taking our dog at? They've said they've had a dog for three years. They have pictures with the little girl with the dog. So they're hunting pictures now to show proof that that's their dog. So uh, they're looking for it now. They said this lady just came into their house, grabbed the dog, and left. We did see the signs around for about a year, you know, $1,000 for a pug. And, you know, I know that somebody did lose a pug, but... I'm telling you, it's not, it's not her. No, you know what, I mean, for, for your sake and your daughter's sake, I hope it's not either. I, I, and I, if I it is, you know what, I will gladly give her over because then somebody stole it and gave it to me that way. But yeah. when we were given the dog, the dogs were all registered. Lola does have a chip in her ear. So what you're going to do uh, right now is you're going to try to get somebody out to scan it. Yeah, and if you can't, then the next then step is I'm, that they're going to come in the morning or you need me to go to animal control to do. I'll, I'll come let you know what's going on, okay? The dog is stolen. They should be arrested for theft. Okay. They should be arrested for theft. It's, it's stolen property. Yeah, listen, it's stolen to, listen property. to what I'm saying. And it's stolen property. Listen somebody to what somebody I'm gave saying. the dog to them. They don't know. The dog okay. could have run away. We don't know. 
Is it the same dog? Pugs all look the same. My okay. mother's pug looks like this. I'm not leaving this dog here tonight. They can listen, be gone in the listen, morning with her. What you did is burglary. You know, you're on their property, you took something from them. They could shoot you. You know what I'm saying? My husband knew where I was, and I told him. <laughs> He's not going to be able to save you. Something I like had to take the chance. Uh, that's a, you you I'm understand just, how no. many sleepless nights I had and how much money I spent trying to find her. I'm, I'm sure you have. Okay. It got to the point my husband and I separated because of this. Because he was with her at the time. Okay. I have suffered extremely, extremely from the loss of this dog. I'm sure you have. Okay. No, well, I he just... bought her for me when my fallopian tubes were removed. Lee. She's my stop. daughter. Lee, stop. If a chip comes back positive, I'm going to let you leave with the dog, all right? How are you? Good. Okay, so Deputy McMichael. So this is the one where... Yep. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. I'm lady. Bye. Is there, is there a chance that there could be two? Yeah. That they took the dog and had a microchip. It can definitely happen. Yeah. I mean, is there a way of changing a microchip number? No. Okay. And it's really not an easy thing to remove. I mean, the dog would have like serious scars. Okay. But still, it keeps on coming up with the same number. It just keeps coming up with the same number. Well, I'm sorry it didn't turn out the way you want to turn out. There's not a whole lot I can do. Okay. I, well, I understand that. So, okay. what do we do? Right uh, we'll take it from here. You that just the relax. The you wait there. not registered. Huh? a little bit. Put the dog and apologize. Okay. Well, I... Yeah. Can you mind come out here and talk to us for a second? Yeah. So he's come to tell you he's very sorry. And, I understand and, uh, they missed right. their dog, but they have no right. They could have done other things. It's not much, but but I, I did want to give a, a bit of a tangible apology, too, for, for your troubles and your, your inconvenience. You let me? Well, I, I'm not taking any money, okay. okay? I'm a Christian woman, and right is right and wrong is wrong, and... Okay. That's all. I just want his card so that my husband will okay. feel better about talking to him. Okay. And I'm sure that I will do everything I can that my husband doesn't press charges. Because that's the last thing you need in your life. But you need to get it straight to her that she just can't go on people's properties and do this. I think, I think she learned a lesson here. I think she really does understand. Like you said, right's right, wrong's wrong. Enjoy your dog, okay? Law enforcement seems to be predominantly males, but a lot of females are getting into it and it's fun. We all have a pretty close bond. They get on me and I get on them and it's pretty much like brother and sister. Uh, they don't let up and neither do I. So we have a good time. I am trying to catch up with this vehicle. He looks suspicious. He's going in the alleyway of a convenience store that we've been at some robberies. So I'm gonna follow him, see what he's doing. On two ahead. I just had a black, I think it was a Sunfire, get away from me. He was turning real quick through the streets. Copy, I'm coming down six now. He's not pulling over. Lighting him up at this point. Anybody in the area of D and 6th Street? I got a vehicle trying to get away from me. I'm lighting him up. He's not pulling over. If you can assist me. Board Charles Adam Lincoln, to be confirmed. Subject is 10, hanging out. I copy the vehicle showing current current 90 Acura. Nice. Hey, That's it. 17 Robert, 38, show me 97. It looks like the vehicle. Okay, the guy was off pussy, guys. Don't worry, yeah. Yeah, I right, Hey, come here, partner. Come here. How you guys doing? Is there anybody else inside the vehicle? You got ID on you? Uh, yes, Sit down for me real quick. You don't need to be standing up after getting out of that. Oh, God. Is this your brother? 
Oh, no. Friend? No, I didn't. Uh, 17 Robert 38, copy on one. <laughs> it's gonna be first of Joshua 0304. <laughs> what happened? Um, I was coming down the street and I was walking and I seen them crash and they kind of. I was trying to help him out and his friend took off running. His friend took off running? Where do you have during your hair? Because I'm, I'm trying to lift him out because he said that the car's lifted out on his. Why is your hand bleeding? Because I'm trying to lift him out and there's glass everywhere. And I go and touch my face because I'm trying to lift him out. Okay. Are you hurt? I, get, I cut my face. Are you hurt? I'm kind of hurt. Like, you sure not, you weren't inside the car? No, I'm positive. Where'd his friend go? I don't know. He took off running. Down you know? the street? Yeah. His face has got all scratches. He said he just walked up here and started helping him, but you could see by his his markings that he was in the car and he got flipped out. The way that he was coming in and out of these streets, it had to be this car. You guys were running from me because you've been drinking? No. Why were you running from me? I wasn't. You weren't. He was. Why? Because he has a warrant. He, he has said. a warrant? That's what he said. Anything hurt? <laughs> no, man. Did you have your seatbelt on? Yes, ma'am, I did. And he didn't? No, he didn't. Okay. And when he saw me light him up, that's why he started hauling butt through the streets? That makes sense. I ain't, I ain't trying to lie to you guys because I ain't trying to get in more trouble or nothing, but... Were you driving? Huh? Were you driving? Um, yeah, I was, but I wasn't drinking. Okay. <laughs> you said you had... Is this your car? Yes, it is, sir. All right. So that's your friend? Yeah. Because, uh, because he made a stupid decision, look at him. Mm -hmm. You gonna be all right? I'll be all right. How come he took off? Two beers. He said he was, he was all right to drive, and he just wanted to take his friend home. And... But, but you said you were driving. I didn't say I was driving. Oh, I thought you did. So it's your car, but he was driving. Were you driving or was your buddy driving? <laughs> Just real quick, were you driving or were he driving? I wasn't driving. You wasn't? He was? Yeah? <laughs> okay. So he was driving? He said he was driving. Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. Me? Why'd you lie to me? Yeah. Why did you lie to me? Didn't you just say your boy was driving? Hello. Yeah. You the one pinned under the car. You're driving, and you're still lying. I'm driving. Who drove? Huh? He just I said, said you drove. I said my boy was driving. No, he wasn't driving. Mm -hmm. You told me you weren't driving, right? I wasn't. So then, how come he said you were? I don't know. Have you? Have you, you know how drunk he is? No. We'll find out. Before you throw him in there. Yeah. Listen to my partner. Hey, listen up. Okay. You need to tell me exactly how this happened. Okay. Who was driving for real? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was my other friend, but honestly. Your other said, friend who? Huh? They, they Cause I'm gonna go talk to him, call him if he tells Scooby. me you're lying. They call him Scooby. I don't know his real name. Honestly. Where's he at? Um he lives off. I'll tell you right now. It's um why weren't you driving if it's your car? Because I've been drinking. Okay. So so basically what this is, is you were drinking, you were driving, but you don't want to get in trouble. So you're making up an imaginary friend named Scooby so you don't get in trouble, right? It's not even like that. It, no? No, it's not. He was actually driving. His, his real name is, um, what's his real name? Right now they're conducting a field sobriety test on the subject that was driving to confirm or deny that he's under the influence of alcohol. And just keep blowing until I tell you to stop. Right. Ready? Let's go. Deep breath. Blow. Keep going, keep going, go, go, go. Good. Okay. Just hand your back. You're under arrest for driving under the influence of alcohol. 0.125 over the legal limit, which could be the main reason why he ran. Uh, my partner's taking pictures of the inside of the car proving that the driver of the vehicle has facial lacerations and blood on the inside of the car. It's showing that he was the driver. Joshua, so why did you not pull over? Why are you guys telling me I was driving for? So you didn't pull over because you were scared? 
You know you're being arrested for a felony DUI, right? Yeah, but there's two other people driving with me and you guys You guys don't even look for them. Stick to that one because that's like the third story you come up with. Scenarios and situations and there's always that one time that you can make a huge difference or an impact in someone's life and I feel that I've already done that in my seven years in law enforcement. Robert 31 information, he's not stopping crossing Cadaver. It's probably, is he turning? Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Good morning. Got one. Get the other hand. Put your hand behind your back. All right. Go four, one to ten. One to fifteen. Roll over to the side. How many lives you in danger tonight? Yes, I do. You've been on for a long time. Okay. What is wrong with you? You know how many people you could have killed tonight? You have no common sense or what? Sit up on your butt. One, two, three. Sit up on your knees. Three. One, two, three. Yeah, I came back confident Yeah. What is wrong with you? What would make you do that and put so many people's lives in jeopardy? It's What's your first name? What's your date of birth? Nine eight. Nine what? Nine eight. All right. We're just searching the vehicle for possible hand weapons, dope, anything at all. Pete got into an argument with his wife and apparently hit her. And then he left in this vehicle and uh, passed a deputy who was tempted to stop him. And he failed to yield, just took off. So. During the pursuit, he attempted to run several vehicles off the roadway and was driving very radically. So you know, he's lucky nobody got hurt tonight. You know what the good thing is? You're alive. We're all alive. Everybody else is alive. We learn from it. We all learn from it. Makes things better. Like I said, nobody's hurt. That's the good thing. Yeah, I agree. At the end of all this, we've got to, nobody to go back. Other. I agree. Were you guys firing shots at me? No. No. What, what, what was the... Well, where are the shots being fired? No shots were being fired. Okay. Right. Maybe stuff 
flying from your up from the vehicle, a lot, a lot no. of rocks and stuff. I heard shots being fired. No, no shots. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? A little bit. Yeah, no, we weren't firing anything at you. Sure did sound like it. Really? When I stopped right there and I was facing that way. No? I heard shots. Do you and your wife have an argument tonight? Oh, she didn't like my haircut. That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's what it's about. <laughs> so this all started over your haircut? Basically, yeah. Let me see. So I we'll... got a mohawk yesterday. And... Yeah? Yeah, just... Things escalated tonight, I guess. So, because... Uh, when, I, when I saw the red light, I just... I should have stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you just took off and... Well, I have a big race tomorrow. Motorcycles. Speedway bikes and no brakes. And then... I made it bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least you're safe and, you know, you're not hurt and you didn't hurt anybody else the way you were driving. Yeah, I'm driving didn't hurt anybody. Okay, well, I just wanted to advise you you're being arrested tonight for felony spousal abuse and felony evading, okay? Yes, I know there's not a unit on it yet. We'll switch over to Southeast and it. Looks like right now there's a uh, domestic violence call coming out. It looks like a male is calling right now saying that he's in some kind of a domestic violence situation with his girlfriend. So we're going to go over there and uh, see what we can find out. Unfortunately, uh, with domestic violence laws being what they are in Nevada, someone's going to probably have to go to jail tonight. Did you call? Where's the, the girl? Part 15. Go ahead and stand right here. Okay. Hands out of your pockets. There you go. All right. Have you been diagnosed with anything? No, I'm just diabetic. I'm fine. Okay. Spread your feet up for me. Sure. Yeah. All right. The reason I ask is we had a reason to believe that maybe you were uh, bipolar or schizophrenic, something like that. That's her. I called. I'm the one who called 911. Okay. okay. All right. So tell me what happened tonight. Just arguing. It's been going on for years. And... Are you married? No. Boyfriend, girlfriend? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Any kids? Two. Are they in the apartment? No. Okay. No. Is it anybody in the apartment besides her? No. Not that I know of. Not that you know of? I don't think so. I would not. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay. All right. Is she going to be hurt? I didn't hit her. Okay. Did she hit you? No. Are you sure? Just give it to me straight. She did that to you? Yeah? When she drinks, she's an idiot. Don't care. The dude sent her 100 bucks yesterday. She went and spent it at the casino on the dollar machines. Pennies. Okay. Let me see your arm there. What was that? Her nails? Was there anything else, man? Do you want to see an ambulance for that? No, hey, what are you to I just have to ask. I mean, it's, no, it's, no, a, it's no, a small sir. scratch. But... No. Okay. Hold on. Give me one second. I'm going to talk to my partner, okay? There's been a 415. She's scratched him up a little bit on the arms and neck. Uh, she doesn't know we're coming. He says she's been schizophrenic and stuff in the past, but always peaceful. Okay. And she's, she's up there drunk right now. So uh, we're going to go up and talk to her if you just want to keep an eye on him. That's his luggage over there. He's getting ready to leave, and uh, he's already got a way out. It's her apartment, and so we're just going to go up there and... See so if we can pull her out and get her side. He's willing to do a statement too, if uh, you guys want to start him on sure, that real quick. All right, I appreciate it, buddy. Well, at this point, if a battery did occur, we have to make an arrest. It's not really a, a choice of ours. So, if she's up there, she's going to go to jail, uh, unless she's got worse injuries than him. So, let's go talk to her real quick. Metro Police, open the door. Uh, we'll advise. Uh, the female's not answering the door for us right now. We're not even sure if she's home. Lisa, we're not going anywhere. Open the door for me, all right? We just want to talk to you. You guys ready? Lisa, show me your hands. Put your hands out, Lisa. Go hands on. Lisa. I got oh. Police, bring your sound off now. Don't throw me on that. What? Okay. Check under the bed real quick. 
to cooperate with us. Okay? All right. Let's go outside here and talk, Lisa. Come on. Just go and make a make a left. There you go. All right. Hey, Lisa. That guy right there. He's your boyfriend? No. He's not I your boyfriend. I know him. What is he to you? A friend, if that now. Okay. What were you guys fighting about? Nothing. He came over, drank a few beers, and I told him to go. To go. Okay. And then what? That was it. I told him to go. He took his suitcase. He left. He okay. come back two hours later with you guys. All right. He lives here? No, he does not live here. You sure? He never lives here at all. Children in common. Huh? Do you guys have children in common? No. You don't have two children. No, we do not. No. Where did you meet him at? Cleveland. In Cleveland? Yeah. Have you guys ever slept together? No. I'm just gonna look at you for a second, all right? Yours and her story are not matching at all. She's your girlfriend for how long? Seven years. Seven years she's been your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. I have to I ask know. you, have you guys slept together? We have two kids together, yes. Oh, you have two kids together, okay. Yeah. All right. Those pictures in your wallet, let me see those. That's the daughter in the back. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and stay here for a minute. T says you guys have kids together. We don't. Why would he lie about I'm you guys saying, having kids together? Okay. That doesn't make any sense. See, I don't see why he has to be around here if I don't want him here, you know? Why is he constantly lying and trying to get around me, you know? I just met him. I don't know. Why is he? There's a motive in here somewhere. I'm just looking I'm, for what I'm it is. Not, Good in bed, so I don't know what it is, you know? Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Have you, but you said you never slept with him. No, I've never slept with him. Never. So then why would that matter? Well, oh, I guess it's, no, I've never slept with him. I slept with him in the same bed. Wait a minute. Technically okay. speaking. You, you're, you're, you're messing up your story with, here. Did I ever have sex with him? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> you're confusing me. <laughs> okay. I asked you if you slept with him, you said Those no. Those are not my kids. We'll go talk to the neighbors real quick and see what they have to say about all this. Hello. Hey, are these two dating or together? They've been together for a couple of months, ever since they moved in. Ever since we've known them, they've been together. That's How long have you guys known them? met them. Oh, about, a couple, oh, about two, three months. Two, three maybe months? Maybe not yeah. even that long, maybe six weeks. Yeah, something like that. So they do live together? Oh, you yeah, seen them? definitely. They sure do. Definitely. They're in and out all the time. Okay. They're together. You know they have kids or anything? They have two kids. All right, guys. Appreciate your help with that. Okay. Thank you very Good much. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I know. Okay. I think you're lying just based on the things that we've talked to other people about. And right now, we can prove that you guys live together. So based on that and his injuries, you're going to have to go for domestic violence today. I need you to have a seat in the back of the car, okay? All right, have a seat, Lisa. Relax a little bit for me, all right? It'll just be a couple minutes. She's gonna go to jail. I didn't want her to go to jail. I, I, I know you didn't want her to go to jail, okay? But once there's been violence like that, we can't just leave her here. I didn't. You know? I didn't. Okay. What happens is she's gonna go down there for 12 hours. If you want a protection order against her, we're gonna give you a little card and show you how to do that, okay? And I know you have kids in common and stuff, but it's a tie that you, you might have to break. Uh, Palm Beach County is a, a great place to work. There's a lot of things to do off time. I typically uh, you know, spend time with my family and friends and enjoy going fishing, camping, uh, or even just lounging around the house. So you just be with the family. You want ice up? 99, same. I'm going to go over and back up a, a guy that's following a suspicious vehicle. He hasn't lit it up yet, but it's driving around the area. Let's go see what, what he's doing. Good evening. Good evening. License. Everything is in the bar. I just I just came to my sister because she left the bar. And How much have you had to drink? Two life? drinks. Two drinks. I'm not going to lie. I've been That's the standard me. answer. Th okay, but that is, the truth or not? Yes, I swear on my daughter's life. Okay? And, and how much money do you have in your in your hand there? 
I, I was going to get a pack of cigarettes. That's what I asked you. How I, much $5, money? Five dollars. Five dollars. I was going to get a pack of cigarettes and look for my sister. Do you mind if I see it? Yes. And I just came in at, at a daff. I'm straight as an arrow. At a daff. Okay. Drug assessment foundation. Okay. okay. That's for real. Young lady, what's your first name? Karen. Karen. Yes. Okay. Whose car is this? This is Todd's car, a man that I, I'm out on a date with, believe it or not. And my okay. sister came up to the bar, and she says, I'm going around the corner to get a pack of She's been gone an okay. hour. Okay, listen to me. Yes. Is there anything illegal in this car that no, I there's know not. about? Just, gun, drug, knife, something like that? Absolutely, I know for a fact not. you have not. a problem with me checking? Not at all. Okay, nothing illegal not in here that all. I need to be concerned Absolutely about. not. Okay. Absolutely not. I just, like I said, came out of DAF. I've been out for two weeks. Okay. Straight as an arrow. What did you use before? I, I, was, on, I was addicted to um, Roxycodone. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. It was due to a car accident. How'd you take it? I, no, I used to take it orally. I know people do it in a lot of other ways, but I was doing four pills a day. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know what? Well, I sh I shaked and baked for a long time, but I've been clean and I've been doing good. I, I'm a nurse over at the hospital. Without reaching, I'm gonna ask you: yeah. Do you have anything in your pockets? Absolutely, I have no pockets. You have no pockets at all? I have nothing. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm like, I'm like naked. <laughs> I don't even have my underwear on, so. Thank you for advising us. Okay. I appreciate it. No, I'm serious. And you could strip search me. You could do whatever you want. That you won't find anything. Is there anything in the car that you know about at all? No, absolutely. Yeah, shouldn't. no problem. I look right. No, absolutely not. It's not my car, and it's this guy Todd's, and there shouldn't be anything in that car. Okay, but you're okay with me looking, right? I have no problem. With I that. appreciate. It. Can you stand back over there for me, please? Absolutely. Ma'am. Yes. Come relax over here. Sure. <sighs> so, uh, I never drove the car before. You just said take the car. Go right over. You've never driven it before? No. It, 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 there you go. Yes! Basically what this is, it's a bottle that a, uh, a lot of crack smokers, what they'll do is they'll, they'll take their stem, they'll put it in the hole here, and she has a, a valve that lets the air come in and out. They'll put the, uh, the stem in there, put the crack in the side of the stem, they'll light it up, and they'll use this just to hold the, uh, the stem so they don't burn their fingers. She uh, is very antsy, very talkative. Hey, all there is is the bottle. Not mine. What is it? I don't know. It's in the car you're driving. No. You can put ask Todd. It's not mine. I just drove the car from four cities to here. What is that? What is that? What is what are those pills doing? I don't know. Get Did away from me. Oh, come on. No, no, no. That's seriously. right where you were standing. No, no, you think no. we ran over that? No, I'm serious about it. Those are not mine. Got it. Listen to me. Those are not mine. Those are not yours. No. What do you think they got there? You were standing right there the whole time, right? Can you Listen to me. My tire is right there. I would have ran that over. That is you. Can you look at it, please? I will look at it. I have my voice. Yeah, those are my lower tabs. But what those are not mine. Seriously. I'm not doing anything wrong. Those weren't in your those hand when you just opened it up, right? Yes, it was. These are lower tabs. Those, those are right there? Are? Those are my prescriptions. Are Where's your prescription for? No, they're not actually closed on. Uh, okay, no, we're not playing games with you anymore. You've done nothing but lie. They're not. They're going to jail. That is not mine. Okay. What is it? Um, they're illegal drugs. Those are some things. And they weren't mine. They are what you're going to jail for. Right here, underneath where the tire was. So when I pulled up, I would have ran that over. And she dropped it right there. And she probably, she probably had it in, she probably had it in her, uh, in her this pants. This is where she was standing when we were talking to her. Yeah, the time. That's what I'm saying, because her hands are in front of her. She probably had it she in her pants. She dropped it down there, because when we walked around here, she was getting all fidgety. Right. She had the other ones in her hand when we uh, went there. The the these are uh, Tylenol with codeine, Schedule Three, controlled substance, and then these are uh, Vicodin. They're also Schedule Three. Very good. So they're both felonies. Good job. On top of that, we get the. Uh, and fine. she doesn't have a prescription for either of them. No, they were actually concealed on her, so that's even more evidence that she shouldn't have. The pills that you had, what kind are they? Lorcan. Okay, what kind are the other pills? I don't know. They're not mine. I swear to God, if they're mine, no, they look like aspirin to me. Call in, call the farmers. You know, what? you take a pill. If you take a pill, I'm a nurse, for real. If you take a pill and call up like any pharmacist, like mm -hmm. call the 24 hour one, they'll tell you what it is. If you Do you have prescriptions it. for both of the pills or just the one? one two, the other ones are not mine. I'm not, don't know what they are. I swear on my daughter's life I don't know what they are. For all I know, they could be 
Mm -hmm. Not a heroin compact. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. They could be ecstasy. They could be anything. I don't know. All right. Just sit tight. We'll be with you in a few minutes. It's a really good area. A lot of good people. This job is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I think this is going to be the career I'll be in until I retire. And something new every day, it seems like. So the, the job stays really fresh. We're en route to a call of somebody breaking into a garage of a empty residence. I guess the owner of the house died or passed away recently and uh, all the belongings are still in there. So I think the subject is still in the house. Gray sweatshirt, blue Levi's and a phone in his hand. Copy that. Corey, stay on that side of the house and watch that side just in case he hops out a window or something. Hey, Sarge. They said he came in through this window right here. So we're not going to be able to get through there. You still have a movement? I don't know how, any other way he could have came out. Can you hear a movement? No, I'm not on this side. I heard it all the way on the other side of the house. What was our time frame? Like, his, when I called it out, he was still in that room rummaging around. He didn't know I was here. Could he have seen you up front? I don't think so, because I was below the window. Let's move to the back and let's see if... Uh... Go. Show me your hands! Sheriff's Department, you better show your hands! Get out! Get out! Get out of here! Show me your hands now! Get out of here! Get your hands! Let me see your hands! That's it, get his hands. Give us your hands! Stop resist! Give us your hands! Got it, got it. Get the right, get the right. Cuff, cuff, cuff. I got it. Sarge. Come here, good. Come here. Scared? What's up? Here's one. Much blood. Don't change his wrist. Right change your wrist. There you go. Good. Double lock. I don't know what he's got in his pocket. Change. I know you already touched, but. Yeah. I get it scrubbed. You lock him up? Double lock him here? Yeah. He's going to go to sleep. He's going to sleep? Just you, you, you like to rummage through drawers while you're trying to sleep? We heard you. Come on now. Anybody else with you? No. We're all over. That's my buddy. Oh, let's roll this one. I swear to God, I'm not doing it wrong. It's going to go. Is this your house, sir? I just going to go to sleep. I'm sorry. Roll one more. Is this your house, sir? I just, I'm home. I don't have no dope. I'm not worried about dope. I'm looking for weapons. No weapons. I swear I'm not left. No, firm. We got one in custody. Pick this up. Yes, sir. No firm. 18 ball 31. You lift 31. We're going to turn you, one. and you're going to lift, okay? Uh, I, 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 I need it. Check his groin and stuff like that. Cheers. I'll check his groin. Here, grab the, no, grab the side of his pants. We're going to deal with that a little bit. Take my money, please. We'll get it. That's the stuff you got from this house, sir. No, sir. That's my money. That's yeah. my money. Hey, it's funny. That's my money. Hold your pants. You got them? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. I'm willing. I'm not going nowhere. No. Hey, separate your feet. Let me get some later. Copy that. I had money. I had. I had money. I, I had money. This is, this All these money. unique coins are yours, right? Well, I had money. I had money. Yes. How much money did you have, sir? Thirty-six. One dollars. Okay. Where's those uh, rare coins from? I had them. I, I've been, I've been canning them. Rare coins you have? Yes, sir. That's kind of hard to believe, sir.
Have a seat. Sit down. I will. Yes. Put your leg in the car and sit down, please. Yes, sir. There's a drawer over here that's open. You can see it's like a collector box. The collector coins going through it and all that, all sorts of stuff. It looks like he's had some, grabbed some G and possibly some keys, so. And it looks like he was actually loading this up too, Sarge, look. He just grabbed a bag. He grabbed a bag and put a whole bunch of stuff, all the coins, all the change, cigarette, or matches and stuff like that. Um, looks like he was going through all the drawers and getting as much coins and change as he could. We get a lot of calls of possible burglaries in progress. It's nice to actually have one occur. Vegas, Nevada. Been here for 28 years. Been working with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for four years. I love this job. I love this town. My father was a police officer. Still is with the state of Nevada. And uh, I've always wanted to follow in his footsteps and finish my career as he has with law enforcement. And a shooting call just came out. Looks like we got a man down. Two officers already cleared the apartment where it occurred. We got the suspect in custody. So we don't know how many times our victim's been shot. All we know is that he's walking away from the scene, walking around with a gunshot wound somewhere. It looks like him, there's a white male bleed from the left side of his shirt. Step in front of my car and show me your hands. Step in front of the car. Control 3 North 4. North 4, I got the white male. He's in front of my car with a BMA, Royal Medical. He shot me for nothing, man. When I made the phone call, it's like, I seen him, it's like, Just man. north of Cambridge. All right, you got ID on you? Hey, huh? come here, grab a seat. Yeah, I do. Grab a seat, come here, grab a seat. Grab a seat, come here, lean back, lean back, lean back. Grab a seat. Okay. I got ID in my left back pocket. Again? It's on left back. You know me, man? I know you. I didn't do that. Hey, pat him down. Relax, relax. What's going on? They shot me, man. Who did? White dude who's sitting next door to us. We What's, he like? What's he look like? What's he look like? He's, Relax, he's a white dude, okay? We What's he wearing? playing ping pong. Okay, he had like a white t-shirt on. Three North Four, on. go ahead. And he was playing ping pong. I still don't know what is going on, man. But where you get shot at? Where in the stomach? Where at? Well, in the stomach? I guess in the arm. You know, in the stomach too, I guess. You know, I'm not even sure, dog. I ain't never shot before, shot. Hold on, relax, 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 relax. Well, well there's obviously I'm bleeding, but he he popped he popped three rounds off on me. Door four, it looks like he has and it was for one shot I, to the stomach and one to his me. left arm. Doesn't look life threatening. I was walking away from you, man. I seen the, the pop pop and I'm like, you know, I don't want to be too close to the pop pops. When I tapped his hand, he tapped man, because you... You said you grabbed me, but I was walking away, dog. Victim can possibly identify him. What are you guys doing over there? So, the other dude, okay, the other roommate is real cool, okay? I'm from Jersey, he's from Jersey, and all that so we're playing ping pong. The other dude decided that he got a problem. So he told us to leave. So my girlfriend ran away. No, no, my girlfriend ran away. Yeah, but I'm I don't know, man. And his left arm and one in his stomach. So my girlfriend ran away. And I'm out here looking for her. Okay, okay with with him. Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. You didn't witness anything in there? I saw like I saw like I saw him earlier today, uh -huh. but I didn't like actually witness it. I heard it almost like close, but then it was just how many shots did you hear? Three? I thought it was it sounded like four. Four? Yeah. Three, okay. Between three and four. Okay. You were you in the room playing ping pong? I was there earlier. When okay. I, that's what he's. He wanted to look for his girlfriend. Okay. And I'm like, man, lay down. I'm the one. Is his girlfriend hanging out with that guy? Is that what's going on? Bang, she hung okay. out over there. You know. All right. The victim's in route to the hospital. We got units heading down there to uh, interview him, figure out the whole story, and uh, I gotta go to the scene and interview the suspect. 
We got the gun in custody. We got the suspect in custody. We got a witness that's coming back over to here. Pause to identify the suspect. Here's one that was inside playing ping pong with our victim. At what point did you get hit um, while you're playing ping pong? Not for a loop. I do not know. So you don't know when you got hit? the lights out of my face. I, d I do not know. No, sir. Seriously. Yeah, because I'm trying to, you, you told my officers earlier that the, um, that you got into a fight in the apartment. You were beating them in the ping pong game, an argument ensued, you asked them to leave. And <clears throat> at which point they started, one of them hit you once or twice in the face, right, and I right, can see, right, see the injury. Right, you got right. one on, on your lip there and on those, I can see that. Right. You get them ask to leave. Them to leave again. No, no, ask, ask them to leave, them again. leave again. I just want to know what happened, okay? I shot somebody. Well, I know. Punched me in the face. Okay, but did you shoot it? Because, see, yes, if, if, if you asked them to leave after they hit you, and then... Way after. Okay. And then hit me again. Okay, and then, and then they left. they hit left. me again. But no, they left. they hit me again. Okay, so... Three times they hit me. Uh, I'm not disputing that. But where did you shoot them? Inside. In, inside the house? Yes, sir. I shot them up close twice. We have three to four witnesses to the shooting. Right, and sir. right now, they're lined up back there behind the patrol cars, and each one is bringing up a different witness to conduct a one-on-one -on -one of the uh, suspect. And that witness positively identified him as a shooter. And how many shots did you fire? I want to say it's two, but... That, uh... You're not sure, but you think it's two? Yeah, man. Okay. All right. Okay. And well, what I... happened after that? I stopped getting punched in the face. Okay. Sergeant has a couple questions for you. Why were you carrying your gun? <clears throat> I have a, a permit to carry one. I, I have no problems with that. But why? Did you anticipate any problems or anything? No, 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 sir. I, I, I carry it with me all the time. Okay. This is a suspect's gun that he used to shoot our victim. We got the suspect in custody. We got the victim. We've got three witnesses that can positively identify our suspect. Uh, we got the firearm in custody. So now we're just having the uh, ID come and process the scene, recover any shell casings, evidence that might be in, part, in the apartment, and uh, she's going to process the suspect's clothes because it looks like he has blood splatter from the victim on him. Then we're going to transport him to jail and book him for attempt homicide. I started uh, getting into police work because uh, we did security when I was uh, playing football in college. There was a couple times that I really got to help somebody. I had this one lady who I didn't know who she was, but... She came up to me after uh, this uh, security detail and she says, I don't know you, I don't know who you are, but I want to tell you what you did for me was the nicest thing anyone's ever done. And for me personally, there's no better feeling than that. The other lawnmower's here, 10 4, brand new. We just got dispatched to a uh, domestic assault in progress. Uh, it's between two, uh, two brothers, 19 year old and a 17 year old. We'll swing in there and see what's going on. One Bravo 35. One Bravo 35. Very class to 73. I'm going to be 51. One out three, six times. Hey there. Hey, what's going on? What's going Hi. on? What's going on? Uh, two kids are fighting each other. Your two kids? Yeah. Are they inside right now? One's in the house, one's in the backyard, and the other one's saying he's going to run away now because I took sides with the one brother. What's up, buddy? Come on out. I'll tell you exactly what happened. What's going on? How'd you get all those scratches? From my brother just now. Just this now? is exactly what happened. He takes these pills called Adderall, you know, for ADD. Uh -huh. I don't know that. Yes, I do, because he tells me straight up. That's why I try and tell him. He never wants okay, to believe me. All right. This is your brother? You live, yeah, this you live is my here brother. with your brother? Kid, I, I love the kid. I don't want to fight him or anything like this. Uh -huh. So he wakes up. It's 3 o'clock. Okay. He's sleeping all day, staying up all night, you know? So I say, oh, good morning. It's only 3.30 or something. And he's like, oh, why you go through my bag? My sandals, I forgot at his friend's house, who okay. he's roommated with, you know? Okay. He got them back yesterday and claims that they're his. I said, no, look at the colors. Definitely mine. <laughs> come on, man. Hey, buddy, come here, man. Listen, so then he comes after me in my room. He's in my room throwing everything. Hey, buddy. Yeah, well, come on, face the music. I told you. Hey, buddy, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. here. Just have a seat right here. What's going on? What are you guys fighting over? Okay. 
Okay. Just start talking. Just tell them you what. You too. You can get out of here. You no, got to get out of here. You're the main you reason. You can too. Now. Okay. So I come home from Gainesville. I'm in college all year long. Okay. I get some sandals from my buddy who says they're not my little brothers. So then I say, okay, they're not his. He goes in my rummage, rummages through my while I'm sleeping today, and I ask him. So he takes my sandals. So going to the bathroom. Oh, where are they? So I start looking through his room. A surfboard falls on the ground. He starts running after me. What do you think my first impression is going to be? Tackle him. So he gets me in a chokehold. That's why my knees are all up. Okay. Are you on any medication, anything like you that? Can drug test me. I do not take Adderall. Just ask him. Okay. What was your name? What was your name again? I'm sorry. Chris? Okay. I do not take Adderall. I don't have enough money to buy Adderall. Do you need EMF? You know, a $20 pair of sandals. It's all stemmed over shoes. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. so I got this argument going on in my house right now. Who are those Tommy sandals? Yeah, I, you know, I, they left early sitting around here. So, so now I found out he's lying to him saying, oh, they're not. Because his roommate's lying to him saying, oh, no, they're right. not Tommy's. All he did is saw the sandals sitting on the top of his, his uh, travel okay. bag. So the, got, that's how the argument started was yeah. over the sandals. So he gets up, knocks he gets the surfboard up, over. goes into the bathroom or, uh, you know, goes in and said, I'm going to start getting the rest of my crap out of there. Okay. So, well, you know, get out of my room. No, I want my stuff. And the surfboard falls over. First, uh, it's not his surfboard. It's he just, tackles him. They all right, surf they fall. start arguing. So okay. I said, I tell you what, I get back here. I said, you, since you got the car, get in your car and leave. 19 years old? Mm hmm. 17 year old? Yeah. So I said, one of you guys got to get out of Well, so he starts, he decides he's going to pack it and leave. All right, man. Here's where we're at. By your own admission, you were the primary aggressor. You aggressed the situation, physical confrontation, instead of maybe using the phone to call us or something like that, okay? So, unfortunately, you're going to go to jail today, okay? Simple battery, domestic, okay? What's up? Take me. I'm going. Well, you want to get the shirt on or something? No, I'm going to jail. That's yeah, a good story. Let me check these cuffs, all right? Yeah. Can you get, them a get, get to the fifth flops they arguing over? Yeah. Have you ever been arrested before? No, no, like, oh, my God. Oh. You okay? Yeah. I'll see you, buddy. Watch your head, all right? Yeah. And where are you actually fighting? In the room? Yeah. Can you show me? No. Well, this is, he dumped out his book bag. Oh, this is his book pack, though, right? He tackles me from right here. He's pulling me back right here. I'm trying to get him with my feet, tell him stop, tell him stop. And right. finally, I had to grab him and hit him once. And I kept him in the lock and I said, Chris, stop, Chris, stop. He keeps trying to go. So finally, I kicked him and started hitting him and then ran. That's okay. all I did was ran straight out the door and then called you the second I was out the door. And how? And you got those marks on your chest how? His pimples. Oh, those are pimples? And then he gets all upset and punched the wall. Sorry, my bad. You going to yeah. fix that for your dad? Yeah, he better. Sure, I've... <laughs> Yeah, Come home and said, take Chris aside. So, who's so what? going to jail? Oof, the person who needs to go. So who called? I was gonna. So what that, What does that mean I'm favoring him if he's going to well, jail? Then, right when you walked in, you said, Chris, what's going on? Okay, listen, man. Yeah. This is silly, man. Okay? All right, we're going to get you some paperwork and have you fill out some things, okay? So what happens so, now? So he's being charged with simple domestic battery. So does he okay. stay overnight? Um, yeah, he'll stay overnight. He'll have a fir uh, first appearance first thing in the morning. All right. Okay, and he'll be in contact. He'll have all the yeah, I was hoping we could opportunities just say, to contact. I said we could come just say, can you guys get along and make him shake hands, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Hey, you know what? Years ago, that could yeah. happen, but the way the domestic laws are in the state of Florida, mm -hmm. you can't do it. Once, once people, it's one thing to argue, but once people start putting their hands on each other, you know, then that's when the crimes occur. Mm -hmm. So, unfortunately, that's where we're at, okay? All right. So... Hey man, I got your sandal. Do you understand how, how silly this whole thing started, man? Yeah, no, I understand. They handed over these sandals, okay? You guys are fighting over these sandals. Here, put them on, all right? You guys are fighting over these here sandals. Okay, and you're gonna have an arrest history. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code three. Thanks, Ted. Get 25 